Let me ask you something. Are you tired of forgetting to water your plants? Every time you go for a vacation, your plant dies. If you want to solve this problem, then in this video, I will show you how to build a smart plant watering system using a simple timer delay module and a DC pump. Whether you are a busy plant lover or want to automate your watering routine, this DIY project is perfect for you. Let's dive in and keep this plant happy and hydrated. As you guys knew already that this model will play a crucial role in today's project. So let me give you a very brief description of how this model works. Okay, so let's jump right into it. On our right side of our timer delay module, we got the connection for our relay NC, C and NO. On our left side of the timer delay module, we got the voltage pins for our 12 volt DC power supply and the trigger pins for our trigger switch or push button to trigger the circuit. At our downside of the timer delay module, we got four push buttons. The first two push buttons will help us to switch different kind of modes in our delay module and the second two push button will help us to increase and decrease the time. And also we do have a seven segment display at the top of our module to check the values. So now let's supply our module and let's see how it works. So now let's talk about the power supply connection also the trigger switch connection to our module that we're gonna use in this project okay so at first i have supplied this module with the 12 volt dc power adapter and also i have connected uh, the ground pin of my power adapter with my trigger switch ground pin okay they are connected with each other and also i took a connection from the positive terminal of my power source or my power supply and connected through a push button to my trigger switch positive connection the n plus connection okay so you can see the circuit diagram on the screen right now and you can understand how the circuit is connected now let me explain you how our p33 mode of operation will work here you can see we have divided the time into two types one is time a and second one is time b whereas time a works for the on time and time b works for the off time of our timer delay module after pressing the trigger switch this process will work in a continuous loop unless you press the trigger switch again to stop this process in our project just to demonstrate i took three seconds for time a delay and five seconds for time b delay so i have given the on delay is for three seconds and the off delay for 5 seconds. Now let's set it up. Okay. Now we just have to press our trigger switch to on the circuit. Let's do that. As you can see the relay is on. And it will be on for 3 seconds. And now it's off for 5 seconds. And again after 5 seconds it will turn on for 3 seconds. So this circuit will continuously work on this loop. That's why use the P33 mode of operation. And also you can stop this circuit or you can stop this timer by pressing the uh, pressing this push button at any time you want like this okay the only thing is left is to connect this pump to our circuit and it will be finished okay so let's do that and see our project at work when it comes to circuit design i always prefer the ultra 365 are you tired of struggling with pcb design and collaboration let me introduce to the game changer for electronics engineers the Ultem 365. Ultem 365 is world's only cloud-based platform for PCB design, making collaboration seamless, secure and fast. Whether you are working remotely, managing a team or sharing design with manufacturers, Ultem 365 has got your back. Imagine collaborating in real time with your team, having instant access to the latest design versions and sharing your work with just a one click. No more email chains or file mismatches. Want to be a job ready in electronics design? Try Ultem Student Lab. You get free access to Ultem Designer and Ultem 365 so you can collaborate with your mates and earn a certificate that's recognized by top industries in India. It's a great way to boost your skills and your resume. Just enter your university email to get started for free. Learn real skills that lead to real jobs with Ultem Student Lab. Check the link in the description below. And also to check out the Ultem 365 link is in the description. The next innovation starts here. 
so it's time to test our project okay the timer delay module already been supplied with the 12 volt our trigger switch is ready and also we have connected uh, the dc pump with our power supply battery through uh, our delay module relay okay so whenever the delay on time will start the pump will keep pump water to the plant and when delay of uh, time will start then our pump will stop running okay so let's test now it will be stopped for six second because of the six second delay of now again it will start pump the water okay let's stop the process let me explain it to you in my case i have given the delay on time of three seconds that's why the motor is uh, pumping water for only three seconds and after that it will stop for six seconds because i have given a six second delay of time in your case you can increase your delay of time up to six minutes six hour 12 hour 24 hour according to your like okay and also you can increase the delay on time according to the size of your plants or number of plants you have okay because if you need more water suppose here I, in my case i have a small plant right if you have a bigger plant you can increase the uh, time on delay of the dc pump and then you can supply more water to the bigger plant or more numbers of plant okay so that's how this process works right okay let's test one more time right after six seconds it will start again okay let's stop it right so and also you can stop this process anytime you want uh, by using uh, by just pressing this trigger switch And that's it, you finally got the automatic plant watering system which is running very smoothly without any microcontrollers and sensors. If you found this project helpful, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for more electronics projects. If you got any project ideas or questions, then let me know in the comment section. Until then, see you in the next video.